Can you believe I have nothing to talk about today? Which doesn't make sense because I'm only five videos in. I don't know what to talk about. I would have submitted a video earlier, but I was extremely busy with a whole bunch of stuff I had to do. Uh, it's my mother's birthday today, and I was outside cleaning something that I'm pretty sure she would... She very much appreciated me cleaning, and... Um, then I had to go to a meeting at work. Uh, it was about there for 38 minutes or so. It wasn't that big a deal. It was for some silly survey that I had to take. And then I had to go to CVS to put money in my car to pay off a class that I forgot to pay off before, uh, before I finished the semester. So as you can see, I've been running around for most of the day and I'm so sorry that this is a late submission. Uh, I had ideas on topics and frankly, they all just went out the window or out the door or out of my ear, I guess, because my ear is directly connected to my brain. Uh, so, I don't know, I'll, I'll make something up. Um, well, I was watching the uh, Gods of Egypt earlier. That was really good. I absolutely enjoyed it. I thought it was really um, interesting in the way that they portrayed um, the Egyptian mythological gods. Uh, their armor was really cool. I really, you know, like that. Um, although... I feel like in these movies, they kind of glorify the ancient gods a lot. They make them seem like, you know, they were like, oh, they were great heroes and awesome warriors and super generous and really nice. When in reality, if you look at mythology, um, they were all typically jerks or they didn't really get involved much with the mortal world. Um, I mean... They were not very just at all. As a matter of fact, most, most mythological gods can be found acting like complete butts, like total butt wipes to people. They're not, um, let's say that they were real. Um, they would probably not have been very nice. I mean, in this movie, they make them all seem as most heroes and villains from any work of fiction, but um, they just glorify them in this one. You know, they make them seem too much like an actual hero, but if they had stuck to the, to the original um, uh, writings of mythology, they would see that the um, gods of Egypt were not as heroic as they appeared. I guess with the exception of the sun god Ra, his character actually suited him, as they portray him in both mythology and any other work of fiction based on mythology. Uh, that I very much appreciated. His personality, his, uh, I guess, his brave nature, that, that was very accurate. That was very true. Um, the fact that he pulled the sun across the sky. Now, in reference to that, the only thing I didn't like was that uh, they didn't portray Ra with his typical bird head. He was just... He was literally an old bald man with a single braid rowing a boat that pulled the sun. I mean, aside from the boat that pulled the sun, eh, I think they could have done something to make him look a bit more like he does in mythology. Um, so, yeah, overall it was a pretty good film. I thought it was very entertaining and I... I enjoyed it. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who hasn't watched it, you know. It's a very, very fun work of uh, fantasy and fiction. It's something extremely entertaining that I think a lot of people would enjoy. Um, unless you're not a fan of that kind of movie, in which case, don't watch it, you know. Uh, I'm not a professional film critic. I knew a few people back in... I know a few people back in school that are, I guess. They have a... They uh, take a film critic or a criticism class. I don't even know what that course is called. Um, so they would probably be able to review the movie better than I could, but they don't have, at least not that I know of, they don't have any channels on YouTube, and I don't know if they make their reviews public or anything of the sort. Um, so aside from that, again, I apologize for making this a late submission. 
But if you like this, then please like, share, and subscribe. And remember to always put the toilet seat down if you're living in a house with women. Because it will definitely anger your mom, your sister, your aunt, your grandmother, or any other female living in that house. And whatever you do, don't give Alka-Seltzer tablets to seagulls. They will explode. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.